what's up what's up ain't no filter we're back with another episode shout out to the ain't no filter fam it's your girl angelica murray we're checking in live from downtown miami welcome to miami go dun 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 when I'm winning and done, when the heat is on all night to the beat to the break of dawn, welcome to Miami. And you know what? I'm checking in with the original homegirl. Go ahead, homegirl, introduce yourself right up. Okay, well, my name is Precious, and I am the owner of Homegirls Hub, Homegirls Nails where we are full of love light and beauty period okay and um yeah i'm here with my home girl that's my ace boom coon period my dog. i know she's gonna keep it real with me. aquarius gang we're gonna get into gang, a gang we're gonna get into a mixture of a couple of things so i definitely want to talk to you kind of about your nail journey and the gizane but the hot topic and that's going on right now um is lyrics music lyrics mm-hmm. within the rap and i think it's a very crazy thing to talk about um you know me and precious we were at rolling loud miami and we came across black music coalition um and they were speaking to us about um nba young boy's attorney and how he kind of helped him get off as far as not you know utilizing the lyrics in his music and making sure that was thrown out and just some other attorneys that are you know within entertainment mm-hmm so the question is how do you feel about lyrics being used in a court of law (laughs) honestly like i think it's wrong number one i do think it's wrong but it's kind of like you guys still in any case like whether it's the court of law anywhere like you just gotta watch what you say you know what i'm saying words are powerful um in like having your business out there it's just like if you know you didn't did some incriminating stuff i just say don't put it out there in the in the in the, in the universe in the space i understand like speaking you know on your life and maybe that is the path you took but if you're still doing it like actively and that's not just a thing of the past, then, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. It's just like posting on Instagram. Like, you don't want to post everywhere you at when you there. You know what I'm saying? You want to post that. And you want to post it a couple hours after you leave or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to ever be. It's just like, what? I don't know. I feel like it's avoidable, but at the same time, I guess you kind of just want to give it in real time. That's what life is about. It is real time. So. And see, this is the thing. I definitely agree with what, what Precious is saying. I'll say this. I'm a firm believer that artists are storytellers. Like, you think mm-hmm. about legendary Slick Rick. He told us a story. Like, Biggie told stories. Tupac told stories. But I'm also a believer that too much information can be bad in certain right. situations. Um and we see it all the time like this is not something new i know a lot of people are talking about like free ysl you know gunna and just all of these other individuals who are experiencing things um due to the music that they make but if you really think back to it 1990 1996 with tupac you had dolores Mm -hmm. tucker um and you had the whole anti-rap campaign and it was basically stating um it was two songs in particular that were being like held um in like you know malicious way Mm -hmm. um dolores tucker was talking about wonder why they call you b and then also how do you want it she it was some statements of you know getting the gist of it not verbatim that she felt as though it was affecting her sex life with her husband all of these things and i was just kind of like i felt like that was weird how do you want it like i know that's how do you want it yeah i would thought that would kind of get it pumping bumping a girl it she was saying she's probably thinking of tupac she couldn't focus on her man (laughs) oh my god it was in her mind was how do you want it how does it feel (laughs) and the crazy thing about it is i could believe that you know what I'm saying? I felt like that's a like, like a me. 
seducing song i don't feel like mm. that's a you know and then even wonder why they call you b he does mention dolores tucker in the song because you know if you look back at old things for those you know 1996 is starting to get up there in years baby it's about that was about 26 25 years man ago. people start saying you was born in the 1900s that's how you know <laughs> Oh, Jack, baby. <laughs> That's how you know. Baby. <laughs> baby. We, we're knocking on some doors there. Baby. <laughs> and so with it, I'm just like, she felt a way they campaigned against her, uh, campaigned against Tupac and also sued his estate because I believe by the time it was about to, he was gone already, put it this way, he was mm-hmm. gone. But while he was alive, it was a whole lot of controversy. But again, going back to storytelling, we know Tupac as a storyteller. Brenda was in his relative. Brenda was some, okay. was a person he read up in a newspaper. He states that the article kept getting smaller and smaller every day for her and he wanted to you know bring awareness i do feel like a lot of artists they're bringing awareness to their situations Mm -hmm. you know let's even we can dig into marvin gay what's going on Mm -hmm. he wrote that song about his brother who after he came back from vietnam he felt different he was Mm -hmm. changed he looked at his brother and he knew he wasn't the same person anymore Mm -hmm. so it's like if you're not over there and if you're only getting your news from the news station it becomes biased you need right. to hear it you need to hear what's happening out on these streets and then it's like also mm-hmm. how many people want to click on the news or read a news article you get so much more when it feels like kind of like a fun way you can even go to war who <laughs> yeah yeah what is it good for absolutely, absolutely nothing not. say it again now who took you know what I'm saying, but but you know what, I think with that being said, they know the the government, the the um the court system, they know how powerful music is and how powerful words can be. That's why they be on us about every little thing, you know, because they know that we have the power to change things and to you know, just I mean it's crazy. But where do we where do we go from there? How do we as black people even think about changing that and making it better for our people? I feel like it all starts with you, for real, for real. Going to therapy, um, healing, and not everybody want to hear that, and not everybody want to go through that. But you got rappers like G Herbo and all them. They really uh, and meet and all them who advocate for therapy and for stuff like this so that, you know, it don't have to be an ongoing thing. It could be a thing in the past. I know Nipsey, one thing I appreciate about his music was he he would always, he would always talk about what was real and what really happened during his life. But you can see the growth in his music. He wasn't like he wasn't about to he wasn't about to be talking about game banging all day long. Right. He wasn't about to talk about uh killing somebody and all this stuff all day long. Right. Later on, you see in his his most recent albums is where he really talking about like how you know, how his life is now, how everything that he did got him to where he is today. They remind you of a young Jay Z, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like you can compare him to Jay Z easily, like because that's the type of life like Nick was living that life and he said all right I'm gonna I'm turn my life around um, and and you know do something with all this power that I got I eat little baby little babies I could see him walking in the same footsteps as Hove and Nip because he he he's been in the streets as a young boy I mean he's so mature and, and old enough to know like you know what I'm saying I, I gotta I gotta start investing in other things. I gotta start putting yep. my money in other I'm gonna use this money and put it into my community. Yep. I'm gonna use this I'm gonna use my platform and I'm gonna speak on real issues. Like you know what I'm saying? And just trying to keep his his self out of the all the um the space. I don't wanna speak for the future, but I really feel like young boys he he, he got a good head on his shoulders at the same time, you know? No, I definitely agree. Um for me, like seeing Lil Baby, like as far as what, 2019, when like we could see the world on fire, mm-hmm. literally, and seeing that <laughs> he was willing to say, like, I'm really from here, like, mm-hmm. I'm still gonna come outside and do what I need to do and be with my people. Mm-hmm. And I know, you know, protesting isn't 
just the one all be all it's so much more things to do and we can do and there's other ways to help but i think that meant a lot because everybody was kind of acting scared mm -hmm. of their own community and i'm like baby everybody just mad they frustrated their hearts hurt like get out there with them people like you know everybody want to you know show us glamour show us this but where you at when stuff getting spicy like For you real. know what i'm saying you sitting somewhere up in the hills just in your mansion watching us yeah, and you know. that's, hey, that's another uh, shout out to Ti and um and uh what's his name Mike and Killer Mike and Killer Mike. I mean, they do be you know Eating having money. things going on, but you know what? I definitely appreciate them at least stepping, uh, you know, putting the foot forward and trying to make a change, doing something, you know, within their community. I agree and let me just touch on that because I'm sure for those who are watching and not just listening y'all see my face change I guess for me it was the comment about Wakanda that got me during the press conference I don't know if y'all seen it because you know we were based in Atlanta so you're seeing that I don't know if that made like national news or oh, yeah. picked up on social media I guess for me it just kind of it felt a little weird when the statements not verbatim was kind of like we don't do that here we don't do that here this is wakanda and oh, it's like yeah. i do think that atlanta is a great beautiful place i hold it with high regard it has a lot of history and legacy and is a part of my life journey but it's just like no city no state is untouchable there is That's issues right. in mm -hmm. that city there's issues within that state mm -hmm. Um, and I'm and to Killer Mike and CI. I definitely do respect them because I they do do great things, and I believe that no human being is perfect. Sure. I do believe that you may you you probably will never agree with a person in their actions a hundred percent through. You know what I'm saying? Because because people we, are imperfect. Exactly, <laughs> they imperfect. We all going to make mistakes and say some crazy things sometimes. Right. It's the whole point of learning from that. Though. Yeah. If you don't do nothing. How you how you gonna learn something? Exactly. You know you gotta mess up. But I say this in regard, and it's just like I do. I kind of do feel like they pick and choose who what artists like going back to lyrics and what they're saying. I feel like they pick and choose what artists they go after. Mm -hmm. Um, and then even speaking to like Nipsey and Jay Z and Little Baby, I love Pedro Giovanni. He's talked about you know his presence and what he's done in the streets, but he's like. I, I want to create a whole new genre of hip hop, like hustlers music. I think it's a way that people state the lyrics. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like Jay Z talked about what he did, Nipsey talked about what he did, Payroll talked about what he did. But now it's like it, it sounds like, let me go get the money. I'm about to hustle. I just invested this into this, and I'm getting this money. Da, da, da. Right. It's like stuff like that, and I think some of these other artists who are facing these you know issues with their music their lyrics are kind of stated more like like for example like Tay K mm. didn't want it but I did the racing you know or child I probably messed up in the lyrics I ain't write the song and you know I they did have, the race I don't know. and that song was going Damn, crazy <laughs> that was <laughs> that song was going crazy that was his big moment only for him to basically his big moment was his worst mm, moment in a sense mm, mm. and it's like that baby young and don't get me that wrong hurt every time i think about it like ooh, so young and don't like please don't get me wrong like if a person has done wrong i definitely feel like it should be consequences to their mm -hmm. actions but as a person who's also looked into the prison system and you know privatizations of the prison system and this idea of reform it's not there because half of the time, like you said earlier about therapy, I think that half of them folks, if they were to have gotten into therapy or even having consistent therapy while they're in prison, and you know, for the people who might comment like, oh, they get therapy in prison. Okay. How many people y'all know locked up? You think all of them is getting getting um, consistent therapy in prison? Mm. Let's just be honest. With so as far as like the newest people that's experiencing this lyric situation we got gonna we got all the whole ysl and all of that going on and they talking about more indictments to come like where do you stand with it because some of their some of the songs that's been coming up in the articles was kind of like let me see if i can find i guess it's it's saying i killed so and so and not their names but i killed his man in front of his mama something something leaving a trace like not leaving a trace i i don't know 
and that's the thing i'm a firm believer in storytelling so if a person has done certain things to people i don't think it's cool i don't think it's right but my issue with it is where do you move forward with it where do you go but also why you want to put that out there though like that's so crazy to me and i believe in story i get you could do that like that's how you feel like talking but why you why why you want to put that on the record but I, freedom of I speech. Wanna kill. <laughs> I feel like that still falls underneath freedom it of do, speech. It do, but it's just like, oh my god! But like, what? For what? For what? For what? That's such a like. Where do you go from there? I mean, I definitely feel like I don't. It's like you could relate to stuff. Well, I can't relate to that. I don't need y'all start using podcasts and court <laughs> cases and stuff. I can't relate to that killing and stuff that. But, like, even going back to G Herbo and him naming a project PTSD, him starting his organization, him t- him openly, freely talking about, I'm in therapy, I'm trying to get better. I've had these many friends get killed. I needed to, like, get myself right. And, you know, he's bringing kids into the world. I feel like that's the other thing. You're bringing kids into this world. You have to figure out where things come from. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a therapist. But how do you move forward? Especially, it, it, it really makes a difference when at first you was it was poverty. You know what I'm saying? It was me not being able to have what I wanted. It was me, me wanting more for myself. And that's why you would probably do the things that you would did at certain times. I mean, as anybody, right? Mm-hmm. But then you get money so then you looking at them like what is you doing why are you doing that why is you out here in the streets like that when you don't even have to be out here and that's exactly why i feel like for you for you to still (laughs) for you to still want to be in the field after you didn't got your millions i I think it needs to be therapy like yeah it needs to be therapy at this point because what is the reason and don't get me wrong i feel like oh yeah go outside still kick it with your people that's cool or whatever but you're literally like you like you going with them to hit a lick and i'm we're not saying that gunner or or ysl or any of them was out here going to hit a lick we don't know what they was doing but we know other people not know other people we've heard other (laughs) situations where people are one foot in one foot out baby you gotta be you know you gotta pick a side at some point and I think that's really sad. But, I mean, I feel like Tupac was real. Like, storytelling can be truthful. When Tupac said the world ain't ready to see a black president, I fully agree with that. We <laughs> got a black president. The world was not ready. And then you saw what happened after that black president mm. went bye-bye. And then they got a war on drugs so the police can bother me. But I ain't never did a crime I ain't have to do. And people say, you don't have to it's different things are different Mm -hmm. people selling drugs is different and i know people like i work at mcdonald's before i do something illegal that's fine i get it but a person who can't go a person baby i i couldn't get hired at mcdonald's so (laughs) i just want to put that out there i i feel like i'm the only person who could not get hired at mcdonald's and people be like i could not get hired at mcdonald's for the life it'd be some jobs (laughs) that you really just can't get hired at and you'd be like what the hell and i'm looking like I could not and I, I really feel like we must have been on the like my last name or something must have been on a do not hire list or something I don't know who messed it up but yes, home girl I appreciate you coming out and chatting <laughs> with us cause y'all we was supposed to check out at noon we got it extended to one and tell me what it's after one but we in What's Miami on enjoying ourselves yeah it's 109 my good sis oh 109 I bet Okay, she yeah. says it's not that bad. But on A No Filter, before we leave, I always ask for our guests to share a piece of advice, anything that you want to tell the world. It doesn't have to relate to music or our topics, just what you want to tell. But before I say that, did you have any other final words that you might have wanted to add? There's a lot going on. Child, I'm waiting for my friend, friend. And it's a lot going on. <laughs> That's why I keep looking at my phone. I can't tell if y'all can see it. Nobody's actually behind the camera, so we're just going to pray. <laughs> yeah um some final words believe in yourself believe in yourself believe in yourself amen okay i feel like that's that's where everything started believing in yourself knowing that you got it knowing god got you amen consistency amen and having good people around you period good honest people that's not gonna be no yes man but they, they, you know, they got good hearts at the same time. So, mm. surrounding yourself with good energy. Mm-hmm. No, I completely agree. Yes. I get, 
I, I'm all for what my girl Precious said. Um, I guess also for me, the piece of advice that I would have is that it's a lot of things I can say. Um, and I just want to say, make memories. I think that we go through life and we get upset and that's realistic. I get upset too. Mm -hmm. um, I think just make memories, enjoy that. Like you may never get to have that person again. You may never have that experience again. Mm -hmm. Um, so make memories, enjoy it, try to find some type of happiness within it. A lot of the stuff we get frustrated and we end up yelling about it and we just so, so mad. Baby, it don't be mattering. It really don't. Mattering. It don't. <laughs> it don't. It really don't. There's so. so many other things going on and it's like, I know sometimes it's hard to say, like, just be grateful that you woke up today. Grateful right. that you were able to breathe and everything. <laughs> Grateful, <laughs> grateful, grateful You are God Even though, you know, that's annoying Sometimes when people say it It's like, it's true Like It, it, mm, it could be a lot, lot worse Okay But that was another episode of Ain't No Filter Thank you guys for tuning in So whether or not you listen with your ears You watch with your eyes Or you listen in your head Thank you, I appreciate all the support It's your girl Angelica Marie And we checking out with Precious. We out. Hey.